Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love. Praise God, people of God. This is Ameso Fortunate. I work with Scripture Union Uganda, Northern Region. Today, we shall be talking about hope. And I have two questions for you. Have you ever felt you needed hope? Have you ever been in a situation where you have no hope and someone gave you hope? This leads us to a topic when hope heals. Praise the living God. There is an enemy who tells us a lot of lies about ourselves, about God, and the situation we are in. Some of these lies are, you're going nowhere, you are a nobody. What are you good for in this life? God promises that if you put your trust in him, he is ready to bring back the hope that you've lost. He'll help you replace all the hope you've lost. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I want to bless your name for this time. We want to thank you for this time that you are going to talk about hope. And we are going to talk about when hope heals. As I speak to your children, as I speak to your people, King of Glory, use me, my master, and I say that come and let the hope you've put in us heal us. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible is the story of God's love for us. When we put our hope in God, God is ready to stand with us. God is ready to bring back all the lost hope we have had. God is ready to prove wrong this enemy that has been discouraging us, that has been talking negative to us about ourselves, about the situations we are in. Let's turn to the book of Psalms, chapter 27. Psalms 27, 13 to 14. Psalms 27, 13 to 14 reads, I had fainted unless I, I had believed to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Praise God, sisters. Here I'm talking to us sisters, as the Bible is telling us that we have to believe in the goodness of, the, of God in the land of the living. Wait upon God. As a child of God, you need to wait upon God. God has promised us that he will always bring back the hope we have lost. Praise the living God. We can trust Jesus to be with us no matter the situation we are in. We have heard from the story in the Bible. We have heard about Esther who had no hope as an orphaned girl. You may be out there, a lady, you have lost it all. You feel you are nobody. You feel you cannot make it in life. You feel it is all on you. It is all against you. But here the Bible is telling us that we have to wait upon the Lord. Psalms is telling us we have to wait upon the Lord because there is nothing too hard. There is no situation too hard for God to handle, for Jesus to come through. Praise the living God. God's goodness brings us hope to any situation we are in. God's goodness brings us hope to anything we are going through. God's goodness comes in to discourage everything that we always think cannot let us reach our destinies. And we have not to lose hope in this life. As a girl, you might have gone through a lot. You might have been raped. You might have been mistreated by your parents. But here I come and say, when hope heals, a time you sat down, you thought to yourself, can I still another, have another hope? Can I still do something better for my life? Can I still do something better 
for my future? Can I do something better for the situation I'm in? When we read in Psalms 127 verse 1 that tells us that those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken but endure forever. There the Bible is telling us to just trust in the Lord because it is you who will delay the hope that you should have had by not trusting in the Lord. But here the Bible is telling us to trust in the Lord. When you trust in the Lord, there is nothing that shall come to discourage you. There is nothing that shall come to take away all the hopes that you have had in this life. Praise the living God. Trust the Lord. Be brave and strong and know that he is Lord. Praise God. We all face difficult situations. We all face dif difficult times. But here, the word of God is telling us, be strong, be brave, and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. And I would like us to open the book of Psalms, the same book of Psalms, 33, verse 18. Psalms 33, verse 18 that reads behold the eye of god is upon them that fear him upon them that hope in his mercy it's telling us here that we should be hold because the eyes of god is upon us upon me upon you upon us who fear him upon them that hope in his mercy you shouldn't lose hope in god because he is there to strengthen us. He is there to bring back all the hopes we have lost. No matter the situation you've been in. No matter who has said hopeless things about you. It is still God that you should never lose your hope in. Praise the living God. We can't, we can't choose our circumstances. But... It will be your mistake to take that circumstance you're in at the present situation to let you lose hope. As a lady, you might have gone through a lot, like I've been saying. You might be in your early teens. You might be in your mid-teens, late teens. You don't have hope for school fees. You don't have hope for a better education. You don't have hope for a better future. You don't have hope for anything that you see others have and gain. But here I've come today with the power of the Holy Ghost to tell you that when hope heals, when hope heals, you will see a bright future. When you lose not any hope in the Lord, when you stand still and know that he is God, your future will be brightened. Your situation will never put you down. The things you need from God shall allocate you at an appointed time. And it is today that many girls, many ladies go through abuses. Abuses from the people we have trusted the most. Abuses from the people we have been introduced to. Abuses from the people who have come in the names of being our angels, our guardian angels, but it has all not worked well for us. They have betrayed you. They have done things that have hurt you. They have exposed you negatively to the world. They have shown you that you're not the best. They have discouraged you in their words and actions. But here we have come to say that there is a God, there is a Jesus who has come to bless your life this day, to let you know that you are so useful in this kingdom, you are so useful in your situation, you are so useful in this area, you are so useful in your community, and you can be the light and the salt tomorrow. This Jesus has promised us that we have to know that in him, when we put our hope, everything shall work for us. As we see in Matthew 6.33, that trust in the Lord and all the rest shall fall in line. 
as young people, we have a lot of things. As young girls, you need just too much. You need too much for your life. You need too much for your looks. You need too much for your dreams. But as a young person, if only, only you can have this Jesus, only you can trust in this God who took an orphaned girl, Esther, and made her king, who used Ruth in her time, who is still using many great ladies to be his servants, you can never go wrong. Put your trust in God. Let God lead everything about you. Let God lead your thoughts. Let God lead your actions. Let God lead in the needs that you feel you have and it's overwhelming. It costs you nothing to pray. It costs you nothing to read the word of God. Everything we need as ladies, everything we need as girls who have lost hope is all in this holy book. The holy book has said it all. The holy book has done it well for us. The holy book has proven to us that really Jesus Christ is there for us. God is there for us. And everything we need in this life, when God says, let my eyes, my eyes shall shine upon you. He is not man to lie, as he said in Numbers. We have to avail ourselves to him. We have to devote to him. We have to show him we are available for his blessings to allocate us. As a lady, don't underlook at yourself. However much somebody has discouraged you, however much somebody has asked you, where do you think you're going? What do you think you are? What do you think good can come out of you? Don't be discouraged. Jesus Christ came to turn all these lies that everybody has been telling us into realities. Christ has come to show us the way because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And through him, we reach the Father. Without Christ, you cannot reach the Father. Settle yourself. I'll accept to start afresh. It is not too late for you to start afresh with your life. It is not too late for you to do it for God. You can start now. Believe me, you, your tomorrow will never be the same. Your tomorrow will never be your today. You're just managing your tomorrow. God is not too, fair, too unfair to not hear your cry. God is not too unfair to hear you pray to him and ask things from, from him. Believe that he is there for you. Believe every hope you have lost is coming back to you and believe you're gonna heal from every heart the things I've brought you. Thank you. May God bless you all. Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love.